Hey guys, Seventh here. So I've been watching the news about Fable Legends since it was first announced, going on a year ago or whenever it was. And the first comments that I made on it when I first saw the footage was that it looked like a cross between a Diablo clone and a MOBA, which if you don't know what a MOBA is, that's multiplayer online battle arena. Uh, games like Awesome Knots and uh, Dota and that kind of thing. There was a Lord of the Rings one a while back. Just really boring, repetitive gameplay where you're doing the same battles over and over again. And it's just multiplayer, stupid, boring shit as far as I'm concerned. I can't stand MOBAs. I hate them. I'd rather play an MMORPG before I would play a MOBA. And I hate MMORPGs. So, everyone uh, poo-pooed me on that. You know, they shot me down saying, no, no, it's going to be a more... Uh, RPG uh, experience. It's not going to be uh, a MOBA. It's going to be this and it's going to be that. And I was telling people, I don't even think it's going to be a retail release. I think it'll be a downloadable title. It just doesn't look robust enough from what I'm seeing that it would be a, re a full retail title. And they shot me down on that one too. That no, it's going to be full retail. It's going to be a full Fable game, etc., etc., etc. So now, here comes the news. And uh, not only does the new footage that they've uploaded look even more like a MOBA, but it's a free-to-play game. It's a fucking free-to-play game. It's a micro-transactionized, free-to-play piece of shit. Eh. And this isn't just a knock against Xbox fanboys, for Christ's sake. This is a knock against people in, in gaming in general. I mean... We're seeing this kind of shit more and more. And some of you are buying this shit simply for the fact that it's not available on anything but your console of preference. And then you whine and complain about it. Look, if you don't want companies like Microsoft or companies like Sony bringing out these free-to-play games that are gimped as hell and require you to buy a bunch of extra stuff just to make it a worthwhile experience and it's a cost that's like well over sixty dollars and it still feels like a lesser experience compared to what you'd get off of a retail game there's a really simple solution for that stop buying the fucking shit vote with your goddamn wallet what is the matter with you people and you can't tell me it's a collector's thing. These are downloadable titles. You don't collect downloadable titles. You collect stuff you can put on your shelf. It cracks me up when I see these people that show off their Steam collection. This is just, it's just data. It's not anything that you can put up on your shelf. You've per you're not you haven't actually purchased a game. You've purchased a license to play a game. A license that they can revoke for any reason that they deem fit. It's not an actual collection. And it goes even more so for these MOBA titles and these uh, free-to-play downloadable pieces of shit. Especially the online-only stuff. These developers have seen how much money Zynga made off of Farmville, and now they're trying to do the same to your games. So if it isn't bad enough that we have people trying to inject their political ideology into our games... Now we have all this casual crap that's being injected into our games. If you don't want this kind of thing running rampant through your games, then the only thing that you can do to stop it is to not buy into the bullshit. Don't download these free-to-play games. Don't buy add-ons for them. Don't spend a bunch of money on these microtransactions to get all this stupid shit for a game that's half-assed in the first place. Don't do it. Okay? You don't owe these companies anything. It's fine to have a preference. It's fine to be a supporter of your console of choice. But if they put out a shitty game, and it's this free-to-play garbage, you don't owe them your money. You don't have to go and buy a bunch of this stuff to show your support for the company. You have to let them know that this shit will not stand. You have to let them know that you as a gamer have no interest in being microtransactioned to death. Because the more that this goes on, 
the worse it's going to get. And it's going to get even worse when we go full digital. And there's no such thing as a retail release anymore. This is what they want. This is the kind of thing that they want. Because they have a better chance of making a lot of money with fewer people buying into the game by doing a free-to-play with microtransactions than having the hopes of selling six or seven million copies of a single game. But if they have, say, a million people download the free-to-play, but they buy up a whole ton of shit to make the game playable, then they have spent less money, had fewer sales, but made more profit. This is the kind of bullshit that they're thinking about. And you have to tell them, no, you will not stand for it. Don't download the game. Don't buy any of the extra stuff for it. Leave it on their servers and tell them to ram it up their ass. Because otherwise, this is going to become the norm. And let me tell you right now, that's not a gaming world that I, myself, want any part of. I can't speak for anybody else, but the day that stuff like Fable Legends is what the new norm is count me out of gaming i'll go back to reading books this is seventh